Thank you, Amy. A former soldier behind bars now for allegedly plotting a terror attack on Union Station, as well as on trains and buses. Robert Hester was charged after he met with undercover federal agents who were posing as members of ISIS. This arrest has raised concerns now about security in the metro. KCTV5's Ashley Arnold is live in Kansas City, where she asked officials and experts if the area is really prepared. Ashley? Yes, you know, there's a lot of different agencies that get involved with these situations, including the FBI. After the arrest of Robert Hester, he wanted to check with Kansas City metro area officials to find out what preparations they have and what they're doing to keep you safe. They say they have everything under control. For months, undercover FBI agents worked to build a case against 25-year-old Robert Hester Jr. The efforts led to his arrest. According to local terror experts, this shows community policing combined with on-the-ground efforts is a step towards progress. What we have learned from this attack, though, is we, we are really seeing a nice example of on-the-ground policing by the FBI being effective. Part of that on the ground policing locally happens at the Fusion Center, where information can be monitored and sent out to appropriate officials. But outside of the monitoring, the work done on the metro level is all about communication between agencies in case the worst happens. We've put in a, a metro wide radio system for emergency personnel, police, fire, public works. Um, utilities are all on the same radio system now. So when there is an emergency, um, the whole community is able to talk together. Now, the conversations about keeping you and so many others safe take place between federal agencies and also local people right here. Now, Bess points out that one of the best ways that we have been seeing this community policing happening is also when people are able to get information out to police. So if you see something, that you say something. Live in Kansas City, Ashley Arnold, KCTV 5 News.